it shall be, O oh Lord, what is good, and what does the Lord require thee, but to be justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with thy God. Mm -hmm. He assured thee, O oh man, what is good, and what does the Lord require of thee? To do what? Justice. And to love mercy, and to walk. I drew a, a diagram here. To walk humbly refers to what? It's reflected where? Yeah, but we're both. The first four, to walk humbly with thine God is reflected in the first four commandments. But to do justly and to love mercy applies to whom? To your fellow man. This is what God requires. That if we are to live out in our Christian experience the Ten Commandments, this is how they are lived out. And that the first four reflect us walking humbly with God. And the last six reflect our justice and mercy toward our fellow men. We can only do the will of God by the power of God. When we attempt to do the will of God, by any other power. Guess what fruits are reflected? What fruits do we reflect by trying to fulfill the will of God by some other means other than by the infilling of the Holy Spirit? What fruits do we reflect? Jealousy. Turn with me, Galatians, and we're closing quickly. Galatians chapter 5. And we're reading from verse 19. Now the works of the flesh are manifested, which are these. Come on. And such the light, of which I tell you before, as I also tell you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So while we come to church, if these fruits of the flesh are reflected in our life and dominating our Christian experience, they're going to prevent us from qualifying for heaven. You, you got to catch it. Paul gives a list, and this is not exclusive, but he gives us a list. And when he talks about adultery, what is adultery? You guys are quiet. Any, any sexual or physical act outside of the marriage. Outside of the marriage. When he talks about fornication, what is he referring to? Sex without marriage. See it? What's that? Sex without marriage. Okay. When he talks about uncleanness, it's referring to Impurity, lasciviousness. What 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 does he mean by that? What is meant by this this word? Unbridled lust, indecency, meaning that we and and, and let me say that in our church we have a number of experiences where just now in the GC conference they have had to emphasize the protection of children in the Adventist church because grown men and other adults in responsible positions are taking advantage sexually of children in our
our church. Unbridled lust. So you can come to church, but when you go home in the privacy of your own room, who's there? Amen. But if God is not on your mind, then you are left to do whatever you want. And this is what Paul is saying, that we just ought not just know Jesus from a distance, but we need to have a living experience with him. Thereby the power of God will lead us and direct us. Idolatry. What is idolatry? Anything that takes the place of God in our affections becomes an idol. That's idolatry. Witchcraft. Mm -hmm. Drug use. Drug use. Sorcery. And drug use. It's the same as witchcraft. Mm -hmm. Hatred. When Paul refers to hatred, he's talking about a range that goes from non-loving to a strong dislike where we would harm that person. Can you imagine? In the church, we're getting ready for a Christmas meeting. But we're harboring in our hearts some of these fruits. Verse, verse. But what, what is meant by this? Variance. Variance. Hostility. Emulation. What is that? Jealousy. Jealousy. Wrath. What, what is meant by wrath? Anger. Outburst of anger. What is meant by strife? Such things as putting oneself forward. Listen to this here. Strife. Such things as putting oneself forward specifically for church office. The manifestation of partisans and, and, and a, a fracturous spirit, much like what we call early quarreling, where there are certain persons who are just continuously causing trouble. In the church. What's meant by sedition? Dissension and division, heresies, fraction in the church, envy, envies, referred to as malice, murderers. What, what's meant by murderers? Gossip, taking one's life. Taking one's life. Character assassination? Yes. Amen. It's referred to as the dagger man. Backstabbing. He's going to stab you in your back. That yeah. there are folks within the church that would stab you in the back or cut your throat, cut your throat or assassinate you. Mm -hmm. That's what's meant by murderers and drunkenness, self-indulgence. It tends to lead to moral and physical deterioration. Revelant, referred to as carousing, and such the like. Paul says that if you and I allow these fruits, Paul is saying that if you and I allow these fruits in our life, they will deteriorate our Christian experience. 